I'm Portland Police Chief Bob Day. As this year draws to a close, I want to take a moment to update Portlanders on public safety and talk about our plans for 2024. This last October, I stepped into this role after being retired from the Portland Police Bureau for four years. I did so because I felt I could make a difference at a time where we face challenges, but also opportunities. I love our city and PPB, and I'm excited to be part of this new momentum. I am also extremely proud to lead this progressive organization, and I want to thank the members of the Police Bureau who have spent the year being innovative, forward-thinking, and working hard to respond to public safety needs in our city. This includes members of our professional staff who fulfill roles that support everything our sworn personnel do. Members of the public may not see them, but internally we know we can't do this job without them. I also want to thank members of our many advisory committees. They help balance us, provide insight, and partner with us for the shared goal of a better understanding of what our community needs. And a thank you to our community. I have heard from so many of you who want to be part of change, who ask what you can do to help move public safety forward. Over the past year, our personnel have responded to 215,000 calls for service. Some calls are more complex and require numerous officers and supervisors. Others can be handled by our public safety support specialists. And we happen to be adding to all these resources. In fact, in the last 12 months, we've hired 58 professional staff members, as well as 61 police officers. We are encouraged by our number of applicants receiving nearly 1,200 applications this past year. We will continue to work with city leaders, our personnel division, recruiters, and trainers to keep the momentum going on our hiring. I am proud of the manner in which the Bureau members have spent their years looking for innovative ways to make positive impacts on public safety. For example, our East Precinct personnel began data-driven stolen vehicle missions that have delivered outstanding results in reducing vehicle thefts. Car theft rates in Portland continue a significant downward trend amidst our commitment to multi-agency stolen vehicle operations. Each of our three precincts have been involved in ongoing retail theft missions, which have resulted in multiple arrests, recovery of items, and seizures of drugs and illegal firearms. Our human trafficking unit has been regularly doing missions as well, concentrating on neighborhoods that have been negatively impacted by this crime. They also work to connect trafficking victims with needed resources. These missions are done in addition to our regular response to 911 calls for service. Therefore, we are not able to sustain them at a level we would prefer but we are constantly evaluating how to best apply our resources, such as time, money, and people, to address the critical safety needs of the community. It is a balancing act for sure, but I am encouraged by how our members routinely find ways to be adaptable and innovative in their approach to service. All of these missions have shown there is a connection to drugs and illegal firearms, and we want those living in these areas to have their safe neighborhoods back. Speaking of firearms, shootings are down this year, and we'll be analyzing those numbers at the year's end. Our focused intervention team, which responds and works to interdict violence, continues to do remarkable and dangerous work. But law enforcement cannot do this alone. We work collaboratively with our partners in the Community Safety Division, the Office of Violence Prevention and others, as well as the focused intervention team's community oversight group called the FITCOG. Shooting investigations are conducted by the members of our enhanced community safety team. They are often extensive and culminate in warrants and arrests. Our Special Emergency Reaction Team and Crisis Negotiation Team have increased the number of call-outs this year in efforts to serve those warrants. This is no easy task. The work, too, is incredibly dangerous. There's been considerable effort to improve public safety in the downtown core. Our Central Precinct Bike Squad is part of our neighborhood response team. They work daily on seizing illegal drugs, making arrests, locating stolen vehicles, and doing a phenomenal job of being visible. We are thankful to the Oregon State Police who have also sent personnel to join the bike squad. And we added walking beats for the final few weeks of the year to increase our community engagement and visibility. I will note, sadly, we are going to close out the year with a record number of traffic deaths. Yet we remain committed to raising awareness and conducting enforcement in our high crash corridors. We are pleased to have the traffic division back this year. We also appreciate our partnerships with the Portland Bureau of Transportation and different neighborhood associations. That said, we all own our part in keeping our roadways safe. Most of these crashes are preventable. Moving forward, we will focus on continuing to use data and technology to help us work more efficiently and effectively. This year, we started our drone pilot project. Drones can assist with measurements and assessments required for fatal traffic crashes. What takes a human being hours, the drone can accomplish in minutes. 
It also has been used by the Metro Explosive Disposal Unit to gather information from a safe distance about possible explosive devices and other incidents involving danger to the community. We launched a dashboard so the public can see where and how often we are using the drones. Sticking with technology, we are anxious to implement the Body Worm Camera Program in 2024. Our pilot this year helped outline small adjustments we need to make regarding policy and training. We will be working with the vendor on acquiring the equipment and training the rest of our personnel. Officers and the community are both eager for the cameras and we want this implemented as soon as possible. Accountability and transparency remain my priority. We continue to work with the Department of Justice on the settlement agreement with the city, and I have personally pledged my commitment to being more communicative about our work. What do we need from you? We need your involvement. Continue to ask questions and participate in your neighborhoods. There is an incredible collective drive right now to make positive impacts on public safety in the city of Portland and think about how to do things differently when we can. Let's seize the moment and work together to make good things happen. I'm hopeful and remain positive about Portland's future. I ask that you join me in that hope. Thanks for watching and here's to a safe and happy new year.